Back with more cybersecurity fundamentals. Hi, my name is Nathan Riley. For those of you who haven't heard of me, which is probably a lot of you, but that's okay. Let's talk about what it's like to work in forensics. All right, so in cybersecurity forensics jobs, uh, because I have a background working with legal entities in the cybersecurity space, technical entities, I've had technical jobs, jobs related to getting evidence for things, which is otherwise known as forensics and so on and so forth. And I get these questions all the time. What's it like to do forensics for a project or for a company? So I have worked for a number of companies and I've done projects for a number of companies, including, you guessed it, forensics, because that's what this video is all about. And something that I'll tell you, when you're working forensics, you're providing evidence, that sounds obvious, but you're providing evidence for some sort of reason. So either you're providing evidence for a legal case, in many of the projects that I worked on, you probably would get assigned some court case where a business is trying to prove something, including, for example, I'll just give you an example of one of the projects I worked on. There was a company that had some employees trying to take them to court and they needed data to disprove what these employees were taking them to court over. So the company contracts who I was working with at the time and in this contract, then I sit there and dig up evidence to prove using data, otherwise data science, for the sake of making sure that the evidence is in support of the client who doesn't want to get sued by their employees. So what's that like? It's kind of like just sitting at a desk and staring at a screen for about a hundred hours. Well, in all seriousness, even though that's true, maybe not the best explanation for what it's like to work in forensics. It's really just a job where you go and scrape information off of different databases, negotiate with people, talk to lawyers or whoever is working with you to make sure that the right information is provided to the right people. It sounds a lot like a lot of technical jobs, but that's what you do. And sometimes you have to recover data. So sometimes I'd have to do disaster recovery where something happens and people need to get information off of old like servers and hosts or hard drives that failed in the past and they need someone who can get that data for the sake of providing it usually once again for the sake of pr proving something in either court or for certain types of projects or even for certain things like business compliance, so on and so forth. In the event of a breach, then forensics would be a part of the aftermath where you're helping collect information for how did the breach happen in the first place and you know prove potentially who actually did all of that. Now, that can also be called analysis and breach analysis. So there are certain fields in cybersecurity where the skill sets kind of blend in together and then they they bleed and in, into this gray area which people basically just have random titles that sound about right for the work you do even though maybe about 20 titles do the same thing but that gives you an idea of what do you do in forensics and what's it like? It it's, tends to be high pressure just because there are deadlines where people are stressed out about either getting sued or losing certain things or going out of business or something bad. People are trying to win something or recover something. So it's usually high pressure and usually your clients are really eager to hope that you come out with positive results and have something hopefully good to say or interesting that's going to be worth their time and money because it can be very expensive. People would pay anywhere from $200 an hour all the way up to $800 an hour just to have forensics work done. So that's my experience. This is based on my experience. For those of you who are interested in hearing about more cybersecurity jobs, I'll be talking about more and 
go ahead and subscribe and like if you like these kinds of videos so that I can figure out what kinds of videos to make you. And comment below if you have any questions and I'm happy to answer anything you send me. So.